This is Woodside Church Kids. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. My name is Matty and this is for the kids in Engage. This week our story is actually a little bit different. Last week we looked at the story of Moses and normally we'd follow on in, in the Bible, but this week uh, it's actually 50 days since Easter. And we all know what that means. 50 days since Easter means Pentecost. See, I've heard of this word a lot before, but I, even I wasn't really sure that it was actually 50 days after Easter. So this week we are looking at the story of Pentecost. And I hear you ask, well, what is Pentecost? And we're going to look at what this story means in a second. But before we go into it, uh, I want to give you a bit of background information. After Easter, after the time when Jesus died and came back to life again, he came back and was chatting to all of his disciples on, a, on several times. And one of these times he said to them, guys, I want you to go to Jerusalem and wait there for a gift. I want you to wait in the city of Jerusalem for a gift. And then Jesus went and rose into the sky and they watched him. I think that would have been crazy to watch Jesus physically float up into the sky to be in heaven. So now the disciples didn't really know what to do because Jesus had just left them. So they went to Jerusalem, like it said, and were waiting there for a gift. And now lots of people were arriving in Jerusalem because it was a big city and they were celebrating a festival of the harvest that we now call the Festival of Pentecost, the Festival of the Harvest, the beginning of uh, the time when they were taking their food. And our story this week comes from the book of Acts in the Bible, chapter 2. And it says... On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place, so all the people that believed in Jesus. And suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house in where they were sitting. Then what looked like tongues of flame, bits of fire, appeared and settled on each of them. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. And at that time, there were Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. And when they heard the noise, everyone came running and they were bewildered, they were confused to hear each of their own languages being spoken by the believers. They were completely amazed. How can this be, they exclaimed. These people are all from Galilee and yet we hear them speaking our own native languages. Here we are, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pont uh, Pontus, the province of Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt and areas of Libya around Cyrene, visitors from Rome, Cretans and Arabs. And we all hear these people speaking in our own languages and all of the wonderful things that God has done. They stood there amazed and confused. And that's the end of our story in the Bible. So Jesus told his followers to, to wait in Jerusalem for this gift. And this gift turned out to be the Holy Spirit, our helper. But why is this story still important to us today, even though it's 2,000 years since this has happened? Well, see, God has given us this gift as well. See, it might not come with, with fire and a massive windstorm, but the Bible says that each of us can be, when we beloved God and believe in God, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit is, is called in the Bible a helper. It is there. He is there to help us. He can give us confidence, he gives us life, he helps us to love each other really well, and he helps give us direction and instructions from God. See, the Holy Spirit came, that was the first time the Holy Spirit was given to people back in the Bible, but now the Holy Spirit is a gift for you and for me. And that is the story of Pentecost, and that's why this story is still really important for you and me, even today. Now, in this week in Woodside Kids Weekly, I've got some really cool photos from last week, which I was really, really pleased to see. So they're in there as well. Uh, we've got a challenge to all do in languages, just like the Holy Spirit gave the disciples the ability to speak loads of languages that they haven't even learned, and everyone heard a different language. I think it'd be fun to give us, us to try learning a new language. So I want to try and learn another uh, language, such as saying, God, thank you for the Holy Spirit. And I've learned in French, which is uh, Deu merci pour le son de spirit, and in Spanish, which is Dios gracias por el espíritu santo, which I've actually got written down because I haven't yet learned it. 
And this week's challenge is we have a word search and a cool headband with fire on it, just like how the Holy Spirit came and settled on each of the disciples. So until next week, keep well, help home, and chat to Jesus. Bye.